Welcome back to the Living in Houston, Texas channel. I'm Jackson Wilkie with the number one relocation team here in Houston. Today, we got, I got, the number one presentation, period. Now, you're gonna wanna take notes, you're gonna wanna pause the video. This will be the ultimate guide to moving, and that was my dog, to Houston, Texas. So, uh, we're gonna cover the four major things that you need to know. I know we look at those big, beautiful Texas homes and how cheap they are, but you can move to the wrong area just like I did. I'm not from here, so I don't take anything for granted, and I give you all the knowledge that I have learned in the couple years of living here. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna cover, we're gonna cover four major topics today on this presentation. The major roads and sections, again, let me highlight that. This determines where you live. I live in an area that I am, you know, 20, 25 minutes away from a major highway. That is something that you have to take in consideration if you're gonna be commuting. Trust me on this one. You do not wanna be too far when it comes to commuting. From that, this is the first thing you have to look at. We're gonna go through all the roads and sections. This is the fourth largest city in the nation, people, so it's difficult. Next, we're gonna take this list of the best areas to live in Houston. So niche.com, they do their reports every single year. I will take their list. I'm not allowed to steer in any way, but we will take that. Um, it does a good job. It goes all around the map and shows you all the best areas. So. What this will do is, you know, learning the sections and the best areas, you're gonna be able to start ruling areas out. That's the most important thing, not find the perfect area, it's start ruling a bunch of these areas out. So what we're gonna do is talk about these best areas and I'll bring up the map and showcase it. Then we'll talk about the pros and cons of those areas. So I will give you the truth about some of these areas, why you may or may not like living there. And then we will hit it with the cost of living. So again, this is the ultimate guide to moving to Houston, Texas. There's never been anything like this. I wish I would have had it, right? So we have the map here. Um, it, it's a blown out version of right there, H-Town. So when you look at this, it's very, very important that you understand the major roadways, right? Um, and the different, when I say sections, um, a lot of times the highways, they kind of cut off, you know, what's, what makes each section. So you have uh, the, the belt city, right? So the first thing that you notice is you have these circles here. This is the 610 loop. It is free. The next one, the most popular, I think, is going to be Beltway 8. So again, if you're commuting, this is going to be one of the biggest factors. How close are you to there? Because a lot of times what people are doing is coming in from any of these highways, hitting the Beltway, and getting to where they need to go. But it's going to cost you some money. So the other thing that you can do is come in, hit the 610 loop, go around, and then hit the highway that you need, and that is free. If you're gonna be commuting every single day, that's a way that you can save money. A bunch of moolah. So now let's talk about north, south, east, west. Your major, major freeway north, south is gonna be the I-45. This goes up to Dallas, and it kinda heads to the southeast here, and that goes down to the big G. That goes to Galveston Island. Then you have your east-west freeway right here. This is the I-10. This is gonna go out to uh, Louisiana. And this goes straight out to San Antonio, okay? This one, obviously, up this way is gonna be Austin. And the way that I usually roll is you take the 10 and then you cut up, it's out of the picture over here to Austin. So. Again, now you've got kind of your northeast, southwest. These are going to be major roads that you're going to take to commute. Some of the newer ones or, or ones that people are taking, uh, the Aggie Highway, the 290, because all of this you know, relocation here, fourth largest city and massive amounts of people moving here, everything's moving out, right? It's all moving out. We're going to talk a ton today about some areas that you haven't heard of, right? Because of this. Coming from Sugarland. And don't worry, I'm going to erase this. We're going to have a, gr a great, beautiful map here. But coming from Sugarland, you take this new 99 tollway. Now, this is where everything brandy new and nice is coming in. I'm talking some of the nicest new master plan communities, all the nicest shops, restaurants, bars, movie theaters, golf courses, you name it. This 99 has opened up so much opportunity here in Houston, and it's very important you know it. Right here, this is Porter. New Caney area, this section here was just finished. I'm talking brand new and it goes to I-10. We, uh, 
If you go over here, um, there's Crystal Beach, Bolivar Peninsula. We actually go over here to Winnie and drop down, right? Now my drive up to Kingwood, I take this. It is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And, uh, and I can tell you right now, it took about 40 minutes to get from here to here with zero traffic. I saw maybe three cars. So that's how big this is. And when you think, oh, I'll just you know, live here and I'll take the 99 all the way to Katy, you got to realize it might take you an hour and a half or something to do that. Again, very important to know your sections, your cities, and your, your main arterial roads because that's going to dictate your commute. And real quick before I continue going, I need you to comment down below right now, what area or what city, state, where are you moving from? I myself, I'm an Idaho boy, my wife Montana. So we relocated from the Northwest. You can't get much different than the South and we love it. But comment down below, where are you moving from right now? I'm super curious to know. All right, so now we're gonna be discussing those best areas to live. But the one thing I wanna talk about before you get there, <clears throat> I give you my example of living here. Here's the Woodlands, one of the top areas to live. If you take the Woodlands Parkway all the way west here, you know, and you're living kind of in the, the original part of the Woodlands, the older part, this again, 20, 30 minutes to get to 45. So, you know, we really enjoy when people reach out to us. We make the plan. You know, we're the number one relocation team. We've helped hundreds of people move, relocate, and buy a house here. So we actually schedule a call with you. We go on Zoom and we pull up the map. So we go over these areas in super detail. Our contact information is down in the description below. You're seeing it on the screen too. So just make sure that you copy that down at some point, get our email or our number and just text us and schedule a call so that we can jump on the Zoom and plan this out for you. Because these are little things that I didn't know moving here and that you don't know. So when you start talking about things you like, you don't like, and that's what I'm gonna talk about here shortly, I will break down these areas. So you're gonna go, okay, I, li I love that sound of it. And then I'll talk about another area, you're like, oh no, I hate that, I would never like that. Boom, rule it out. But just understand, you know, sometimes when you're away from these major freeways here, um, you're going to be a little bit farther than you want. Or, shoot, this is Magnolia. I kind of cut it off. We did a tour of this a couple of weeks ago, um, and there is some brand new areas right here where you get the benefit of being that close to the woodlands and all the shopping, but you're now closer to the 249 where you don't deal with all this congestion and all this traffic and 80 million people coming and shopping, which is a huge con of the woodlands, right? And you're going to get these prices of Magnolia, so stretch the budget, Again, this is stuff we've helped many people with. Okay, so I'm gonna clear the board here. And now we're gonna talk about those best areas to live according to niche.com. So whenever you look at niche.com, it's gonna break it down to cities, suburbs, school districts, you name it. There's an area that usually not only the city, but uh, you know a couple master plan communities and neighborhoods, they're always topping the list, right? That is right down here. This is Sugarland. So. The one pro about Sugarland is you can see the, the Beltway is just right here. Sugarland Town Center is right here. And a lot of the master plan communities and stuff is just right here. So you're very close to all of the shopping. This is like the University Boulevard. So this is just filled with every shop, restaurant, bar. You're completely self-sustained. And the other thing that you, you need to know about that too is when you're in Sugarland right here, you're really quick right into Houston. Here's you know the medical industries and um, all of that, right? Or if you're going to be working at the energy corridor, you're, you're straight up. So Sugarland puts you very, you know, close to a lot of things. It is very south. I was actually really shocked when I went to Sugarland the first time. It was a lot prettier than I thought. Most every master plan community neighborhood, uh, they have just tons of lakes and ponds and water features and so and trees and stuff. But it's not the the type of trees that you're going to get in this area, which we'll talk about. Different. This is like the old growth. I'm from the Northwest, I love big, big, big trees. That's what you see here. Uh, but Sugarland had a lot of master plan communities and, and a lot of uh, you know opportunity down that way. So the other thing that we're seeing, we've actually helped quite a few clients, again, why we love people reaching out, because they wanted to be by Sugarland, um, but they wanted brand new and nice. Some of the stuff here, 20, 30 years old, right? And, and they also wanted to stretch the budget and be close to Sugarland, but they didn't need to be that close to downtown. So if you go over here uh, and you hit the Richmond area, we've had a few clients move out. There's some uh, new master plan communities out this way. So anytime that you come outwards, right, you're going to be able to stretch that dollar um, because this is where all the new growth is. All, a lot of this in here is being built out. And so people are heading out farther and farther, but that's all the brand new stuff too. So it is kind of advantageous in a way to where you get in 
uh, nice new construction. You're going to have all the new schools. You're going to have all new shops and bars. And then with development coming, we're seeing you know people's equity build up quicker. But if you've got to be able to commute to downtown or whatever, wherever your work is, you don't want to be out that far. Again, another reason to maybe avoid it. But you know we can talk about these things and, and show you more. So Sugarland, you know we talked about it. Sienna Plantation. If you've ever heard of that, that's always ranked as one of the top mass plan communities. That's right here. So it's kind of in this Sugarland area on the on the east side of it. Another area that I'm going to touch on here is uh, League City. So this is where when I moved here the first time. Back in about 2009, I was here for just over two years. We lived here, it was kind of badass. Me and my wife had a 35 foot fifth wheel trailer. If you've ever lived in a trailer before, and not like the trailer park, but an actual like, you know, travel trailer, comment down below or a trailer. I don't care, I'm from Idaho. Um, but we lived in a fifth wheel trailer on a little par three golf course and I loved it. We were like one mile from the uh, ocean here. So I was, you know, ocean fishing right here. Again, I'm a Northwest kid, I'm a fly fishing dude. So it's a little different. San Leon, rad little restaurants, and this is 45. So it is so quick to get here. It's like 15 minutes down to Galveston. Beach day, no problem, right? Head straight up into 40, uh, into downtown. Um, but this whole area now is, you, I drove by it. Me and my wife were like, oh my gosh, it erupted. I'm talking shops, restaurants, bars, uh, top golfs. Uh, there's a Bucky's right down here. Got to, hey, Bucky's. If you've ever been to Bucky's, comment down below. <laughs> Bucky's is probably the greatest gas station of all time. But this is where you're going to see some of the lowest property taxes in Houston, right? Because property taxes, they eat you alive in Houston. So, you know, if you go to any site, you're going to notice that the, the rates down there will be a little bit lower, your tax rates. So um, Kima is really fun. If you're coming in and for a few days and you want something cool to go see, maybe some theme park rides and, and cool restaurants, Kima, you get to go right on the ocean there. It's a, it's a cool spot. So this one league city has been hitting all the the top lists lately like it'll it'll get into the top 10 and then you'll see clear lake you know so this whole area has got great schools um you got i think clear lake yeah anyways you got league city dickinson um and then it's right on the border here Pearland, and uh there's friendswood so this whole area down here is going to be you know a lot of new development and they say there's a board if you go down just south here the number one master plan community in all of Houston. Uh, they got a giant lagoon and you're only, you know, 10 minutes from Galveston. So if you're working south, the the plants, Galveston, any of that kind of stuff ships, you're gonna wanna really look in this area because that's gonna be your best commute. And there's a lot of, and you're gonna stretch your budget the most there. So keep that on your plate. Hey, look, let's take a second. I've moved here too. I put a lot of effort into these videos and if they've helped you in any way, you know, to plan your move here to Houston, would you do me a favor? Hit that like button right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe because we do the most in-depth videos helping you with your move to Houston. All right, so next up on the list is one that, man, we have probably 50% of our clients moving to. Maybe not that much, but at least it's on their radar and it wasn't just a couple of years ago. Cyprus, okay? Cyprus, if you notice, you got the 290 right here. So, it's a quick shot right into downtown Houston to get to, you know, the ball games or whatever, you know, with no traffic. That is a, a quick little, you know, 20, 30 minute drive. Okay. So, and this is kind of the, the northeast end of it or northwest end. And you have giant shopping malls right here and outlet malls. In fact, my wife will go all the way, you know, over and around or down and around up to hit those, um, outlet malls. And then I just did a brand new vlog of a master plan community in Cyprus. It's going to be the last one, a couple thousand homes. It's, it's amazing over there. That is just right in here. So Cyprus has uh, one of the top master plan communities in all of Houston. It's just down in here called Town Lake. It is the only lake that you can boat on that isn't Lake Houston or if you go way up to Lake Conroe. So um, we even get to go on boat tours. We've sold, you know, quite a few lake homes right there and you get to, you know, stretch that budget. So uh, if you've heard of Sci Fair school districts, that's one of the top rated ones. That's going to be, you know, your Cypress right here. So there's a couple Bridgeland and Town Lake are the, you know, kind of newest, hottest master plan communities. Town Lake has its own boardwalk, shops, restaurants, bars. You can pull your boat right up to it. So it is an awesome spot. Even the uh, community center has a lazy river and volleyball and you can drive your golf carts there. It's, it's, it's a cool area. And I remember cruising through there before because 
even just right here on the border of it, when you hit these little roads here in between Tomball uh, and the 99, this section, nothing but farm fields. I mean, there's 50 acre, 100 acre, 500 acre farms, cattle ranches, old growth oak trees, fences. It's, it's beautiful out that way. And so this is, you know, a lot of these areas in here were all just getting built out. Well, this is the latest one. And so everything in here is just nice and new, new newer schools, newer homes, newer shops, newer restaurants. And now you've got this 99 right to the north of you to get anywhere you need. It just makes it so easy to commute down to Katy, over to the woodlands, um, and then everything's nice and new. So Cypress is an area you're, you're going to want to keep on your list. Um, most people who go out that way, they love it. And I'm not talking about relocation. I know a lot of local people and friends, and they are constantly talking about Cypress. Half of them are like, I don't even know they were building out there. Just like Joe, who's lived here his whole life, he's like, 10 years ago, this was nothing but farm fields. So this has a ton of action going in it right here is Cypress. And then we are going to talk about Katie. All right. This is the number one spot that my wife and I had on our list when we were coming to Houston. Uh, we lived obviously down here before the first time. And then we'd always heard about Katie. And then when we were planning again, unfortunately, there was no videos. So we had to read all these blogs and it was all Katie, 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 Cinco Ranch, Cinco Ranch, Cinco Ranch. And we had no perception of it, hence why I started shooting all these videos and we built a relocation team to help people like you. But what happened was we stayed, um, I'm drawing right now, I guess, but we stayed right down here, okay? So the Galleria is right in this area right here. We stayed at a hotel right down there and we were gonna drive to a couple different areas, like many of you will. But we didn't really have a plan because we didn't have anybody to talk to, but Katie was where we were gonna go. So we go up and we hit I-10, we drive out there and we drive, and we drive, and we drive, and we drive, and we get out to Katy finally, right? Well, this is Old Town Katy, so when you look on the map, you're like, oh, okay, there's Katy right there. No, basically everything that's happening is down south of I-10. There's a little bit up to the north, but it's mainly all down here in these sections. Cinco Ranch, I know you've heard of that. I don't know if there is an actual ranking out there that doesn't have Cinco Ranch as one of the top areas. And when you think about it and when you look at it and you go out there, it is really a can't miss area. You're going to have incredible schools. You have a ton of shops, restaurants, bars. You've got just neighborhood after neighborhood. I mean, it's just so many. This is blown out, but you get in here, it is massive. So um, you have a lot to do. There's even a uh, typhoon water park. I mean, it's a giant water park. That's how big Katy is. So the other, you know, pro to Katy, we talked about it earlier is it's the quickest shot for you know day trips or whatever over to San Antonio. Katie's gonna put you the farthest west. And when I say the farthest west, it's far. Um, it's really far. So what happened was, and so Cinco Ranch, if you're gonna be working out west, like the energy corridor right here, you're golden, right? So quick. That's what a lot of people living out here, they all work in the energy corridor. Maybe, you know, the hospitals, uh, we have the largest medical complex in the world. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So, you know, you're in, it's, it's pretty long drive, but I've heard of people doing that as well. But when my wife and I were leaving Katie and we were like, okay, this is pretty cool. You know, we dig it, but it wasn't like our style again. And we were, you know, leaving Katie and we're driving, we're driving back, we're driving, and we're driving, and we're driving, right? And we get driving, we're driving. That we wanted to go downtown. My wife fell asleep about here. She woke up about right chill, and she's like, Wait, are you still driving? Are we still driving? I'm like, We still are. Yes, honey, we're still driving. And that's the right there, you know, that was the biggest con for us. We were like, It's just too far. Like, we love going down to Galveston, right? Or we go out to Winnie and down to uh, Crystal Beach, which is way, 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 way better um, down that way. That Katie, you know, it just made all these drives so much longer for what we like to do. And it was just so far out there. We didn't need to be out West. So we ruled it out. So the the reason I tell that story is, and we've had a lot of clients do the same thing. They, they show up, they read about Katie, they love it. And they're like, you know what? We listened to you and it was the same thing. It was just too far, right? But I say that being, if you are working out west, need to be out there, it's a can't miss area, okay? So it is great, but it wasn't our style and the the looks, right? It's There's something about being out west, like the farther you go west, it's more um, like dry climate, you know? It's gonna be, it, and I'm just saying drier, it just looks that way. You go out east, I hunt east. Um, I live, you know, kind of east here. It's just like wetter out this way. And I'm not saying I like wetter. It doesn't mean there's more hurricanes or less hurricane. 
it's just a different climate. It's just a different uh, look, right? This is going to be all old growth trees, big, big, big forest and woods, right? So uh, it's just a lot different than Katie. So for us, we ruled it out. The next one on the list is probably one of the most obvious. This was ranked the number one place to live in America about a year or two ago with niche.com. It got a lot of attention. The problem with the woodlands, the biggest con, you're going to pay the most money, you know, per foot per house. You, you know, that is something that if you're going to do the woodlands and you have to have it, go do it. You got the best shopping. I mean, hands down, you're not going to beat the woodlands for things to do. Uh, in fact, my wife was just there yesterday. She goes there all the time. And, and that's one of the cons, right? Is the traffic. Everybody goes up to the woodlands or over to the woodlands to go shopping. And so you have this woodlands parkway and you come into the malls here and it's just, it's congested, right? And so people who live there, they have to deal with the commuters or the, the shoppers a lot. And there's huge functions there. I'm talking... Yes, you have Energy Stadium and you have all the big stuff down here um, for concerts, but the Woodlands hosts big namers. So there's a lot of concerts up in the Woodlands. Uh, you have giant parks. You have the River Roast. You can actually go paddleboarding right down there. You got a bunch of restaurants. You got indoor malls. You got outdoor malls. You got movie theaters. Everything up there. So I get it. It is awesome. It's fun. But you're going to pay for it, right? And then, you know, most of the times when you look at schools, it's typically ranked one of the top school districts. So we love the woodlands. Again, when we went up there, now you're looking all the way up 45. And it just put us too far north of what we wanted, right? And it just wasn't our thing. When we started looking at similar areas look-wise, we noticed that we could get a lot more house for our buck in, in different areas. But I would love living in the woodland. It's, it's a cool place. The lake there, all the trees, it is amazing. There's not much wrong with it, but it does put you very far north. What I'm going to talk about, one that's hitting the list, and it's not a new division, subdivision or neighborhood or city or whatever. I'm just going to put a big K there, uh, but it's Kingwood. And I was just looking at the latest niche.com, and it usually hits uh, top 10, top 7, somewhere in there. Kingwood, it's where we currently reside. You know, we moved to the Humble Atascacita area. So... Again, old growth trees, and I come from North Idaho, just south of the Canadian border. We have a lot of lakes. We did a lot of wakeboarding boat. You know, we could only do it for about two months out of the year because it's freezing as cold too much. But this lake right here is Lake Houston, right? And this is the San Jack, the San Jacinto River. That is a full-on boating, wakeboarding, pontoon boating, jet skiing lake right there. So I thought me and my wife were like, you know, it would be cool to be close to a lake. And, and sure enough, we've met a lot of friends who have, you know, houses on the lake or friends who have boats. And we do a ton of wakeboarding, wake surfing. There's a brewery right here. Go get a burger and a brew right there. So it's really fun. In fact, in Christmas, they do a big lighting parade. And we were at one of our friend's houses. It was like 75 degrees at night. He heated the pool, my buddy did. And, and they do this giant boat lighting parade, Santa Claus. All It was awesome. So... That's why we chose kind of this northeast section. And then, you know, the map doesn't do it justice, but this is a huge national park. Uh, all this, it's just huge old growth trees. And Kingwood is built by the same developer as the woodlands. So the whole goal is keeping it treed, right? Tons and tons of trees and trails. So that was one thing I didn't like as much down here. There wasn't really as much sidewalks or trails. I got three little tricycle motors, kiddos. Kingwood has the greenbelt system, 100% trails. I've done complete vlog tours of all of these places that I'm talking about, so you can check those out after. But Kingwood is, you know, built by the same developer, but there's not all the shops and restaurants and bars. So it's kind of a pro, kind of a con. You don't have as many of the, the targets and all that. You got to drop down to Umbla Tacita, but that's what keeps the traffic out of here. So when you talk to people, they're like, no, 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 we don't want all the shops. Yes, you have plenty of restaurants and shops and grocery stores, but... You don't have what the Woodlands has with all the malls and everything. The best part about it, though, is with the 99 that I've talked about quite a few times. It's just about 15 minutes to get right here to New Caney. And this area right here has over 100 new shops, bars, restaurants. They got the home goods, which my wife can't stay out of. She sees a home good truck and she's driving over there getting the, all the freshies. They have a 4D, 5D, 8D, whatever movie theater. They got restaurants. So it's it's very easy to get to somewhere. And that's what I love about, you know, the 99 stretch all the way through here. It's just what it is everywhere. I just did that full vlog tour of the Highlands. Um, man, right there. Holy crap, that place is amazing. 
and again, shops, restaurants, bars. So sometimes pros and cons can be just the way that you feel about things, but you know, I went through a lot of those main areas and the pros and cons, and that gives you a good understanding. But wait, there's more. We do have a lot of people here who want you know, to be close to downtown Houston or close to the Woodlands or close to Katy, but they kind of want a little bit of space. I got one for you. I'm, I'm here for you. I got everything you need. And that's why, if you would, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Do it. I do the best videos for you. Tomball. Okay. So I already kind of mentioned it. Uh, Cypress and Tomball, they kind of border here, right? And then this is a cute little downtown, you know, Western small town living. Uh, but this actually has a brand new high school, has all brand new shops right along here. And since this new 99 just came in and got finished, it's quick, uh, you know, to the woodlands, down to Katy. Uh, and it's this 249 is super easy to get down uh, to the 45 and in. So it's actually a very quick drive and you're going to get acreage right here. And in fact, there's some awesome uh, neighborhoods I've driven through because my, my kids all play sports and, and uh, a lot of the venues and the basketball arenas and the courts and the football fields, everything is right in this area of Tomball. So you know, we come up, we hit the 99, and I love this drive. It is so enjoyable. I don't know why. I don't really like driving much, but this new 99 is just so smooth, so great, and it's nothing but awesome shops and restaurants and everything, golf courses, beautiful trees, the river. You cross over the, the, the river a lot of times, and then you have everything new here. So Tomball, you get that small town feeling. You can get acreage estates. You can get giant shops, right? you know, or equestrian, you know, horse properties, but you're not like way, 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 you know, out. Magnolia's kind of popping, you know, that's the side of the woodlands, but way out here, uh, you know, Cleveland, some of these areas where you have to go way out, you, you're still like close enough, but yet you're, you're, it, it's like that just country living, you know what I mean? So I do know a lot of people who love Tomball, live out in Tomball, and we've had a lot of clients who go out there and fall in love with it too, because you kind of get the best of all worlds. And now with the new 99, you can get anywhere you need. So cost of living wise and with, you know, just the current market and affairs, anytime you go to just one of these major areas, it's still going to be a lot of action going on in these areas. There's so many people still moving, relocating here. You know, the Woodlands is going to be definitely one of the most expensive. Uh, the farther that you can come out besides the Woodlands, you can really stretch that dollar. So areas, you know, here's Katie. We're actually getting a ton of people into full shear. Um, because they really don't have to be downtown or anywhere and they get brand new, nice new construction, those huge homes. Now you can look at those homes, but I do think that you should email us or text us or call us and say, Hey, you know, we're thinking of moving, buying a house. We got to schedule that zoom call that Mr. Jackson talked about. Right. And we'll get with Joe and the team and, and we'll do that with you. Cause you'll hear about, you know, the Richmond's, the full shears, you know, the Tom balls and, and some of these areas, even Magnolia, we went and did that big tour and we were in the new construction area there. The Highlands, I got a bunch more that are going to be coming too that you, ha you just haven't heard of. And, and they can be kind of in your middle ground next to what you want, but it's going to be way cheaper and it's all going to be nice and new and you're going to build that equity quicker and you don't have to deal with as much traffic. And lastly, for you city goers, um, I've blown up the map and I kind of have, as you can see here, the, the west side exposed. This is for people who want a little bit more of that hustle and bustle things to do, right? And if you've looked on the any ranking, you're going to see Spring Valley, uh, Spring Valley Village all over it, right? And I hadn't technically really been in Spring Valley. I'd driven by it. But the other day, it was like two weeks ago, we came over, we hit the 10, and we went wet, We went to San Antonio day, or, uh, for two days, me and the, the wife and the kiddos, just to get out of here. And we went in here, and we stopped, and we saw the shot. It is crazy. So when I was reading, it's got a lot to do for families. It's got a lot of those shops, restaurants, bars. It's got some of the top schools, the Memorial High Schools right here. A lot of people love that. Here's your neighbor right here, River Oaks. So this is like the most baller luxury 20,000 square foot homes you can find. Uh, but you have just everything to do. The cool part was there's so many big parks in here. But now you're a quick drive in. This is probably me and my wife's favorite spot to go. One of them anyways, the Heights. Uh, we actually lived in Portland, Oregon for two years. So that, you know, eclectic shop, restaurant bars, like top chefs, you know, James Beard chef type stuff. That's what you're going to get in the Heights, these two roads right here. So if you love that kind of living, we've helped a couple of clients get into the, the Heights where now you're just living where all the fun stuff is to do, walk, shop, whatever. My favorite place to go just cruise around and look at homes is West U. 
uh, the West University place. This is all now right by the, you know, the, the medical industries and stuff. So that West U has some of the most gorgeous homes that I've ever seen. But Spring Valley Village is where, you know, a lot of families reside who want a little bit more to do. You're closer to downtown. Uh, you know, you can head out to the energy corridor if you need to. But, you know, now you're going to have these really nice uh, neighborhoods and, and a lot of families and stuff, but way, way, way more to do. Again, don't forget to comment down below. Where are you moving from? I can't wait to see that. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you shoot us a text or an email. Schedule that call with the number one relocation team. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and like so that you never miss any of our videos. And now it's January and 72 degrees outside. It's time to go.